everyone, welcome to another Tip Tuesday. I'm fresh off of vacation, so I've come up with the perfect Tip Tuesday. It's tips and tricks on saving money when you're traveling with your camper and headed to your destination. So let's just jump right in. Tip one, choose your destination. I know that sounds simple, but listen, there's campgrounds all over this great country and prices vary even from town to town or location. You know, you can go to Destin, Florida, you can camp on the beach and you can spend a couple of hundred dollars a night, or you could go to Gulf State Park and you could spend a couple of hundred bucks for the entire week and be right across the street from the beach. So do your research ahead of time on your destination. You know, New York is obviously more expensive than Alabama. Um, and it also helps, uh, speaking of Gulf State Park again, booking well in advance. That can get you a cheaper rate and it can also guarantee you a spot as well as probably one of the premium spots like I showed in my video from last week. Tip two is take advantage of shoulder season. What is shoulder season you say? Shoulder season is that off season or off peak. For instance, again, going back to my vacation coming back from Gulf Shores, we went right after spring break and before summer hit. So it was that nice in between when the weather's beautiful, but your gas prices are typically lower, or I should say fuel if you've got a diesel truck, your rentals at the campgrounds are cheaper as well as they have more availability. And a lot of times restaurants, bars, any place you wanna go while you're there is just gonna be less busy. So take advantage of shoulder seasons. Tip three, check your gas prices. This. I'm absolutely amazed. We're here in central Indiana, and the further south I go, the cheaper my diesel prices get. But I, I've talked about it before. I use the Allstay app, and my wife points me to the big gas stations that are easy to get in and out of, which is fantastic. You know, you're hitting your Petro Cities, your Flying J's, your um, I'm going Loves, those types of places. But you can also price compare, and you would be amazed at what difference sometimes one exit will make. Or even we saw a couple of instances where there was a Flying J's on one side of the exit and a Pilot's on the other side of the exit. And there was like a 15, 20 cent difference between our diesel prices. So not only should you plan your stops according to when you need fuel, but you should also pay attention to those fuel costs. Tip four, you have your kitchen with you, use it. So... My wife and I, we travel with a couple of little corgis. They're just like kids. They need stops, they need potty breaks, they need to get out and stretch their legs. Nothing works better than alternating fuel stops with stops at rest areas or a lot of the fuel stops back where the truckers pull, you can pull back there and there's like grassy areas where you can take your pets. Take full advantage of that time, especially if you have a refrigerator that's accessible when the slide is closed or you don't have a slide at all pre-cook some meals, make them super fast and easy to grab. It's great because instead of packing the car full of all of your snacks and food and coolers and everything else, you've got one big cooler right here in the camper. It gives you a chance to come in, stretch your legs, relax for a few minutes and eat a nice meal. It doesn't cost you anything additional. And sometimes a lot of those big gas stations or fuel stations will have restaurants next to them, fast food, you know, Arby's, McDonald's and stuff. If you want to eat a little healthier or you're just wanting something a little better for you, that works out much, much better because it's really hard sometimes, especially if you're pulling a really big camper to pull into a Wendy's drive through and grab something to eat. Tip five, it just concerns the entire thing. Plan ahead. Look, I am not that guy that says we're leaving at 7 a.m. and at 9 we're stopping and at 10.22 we're stopping. I don't do that. But I at least have a rough idea of when I'm leaving, what the weather looks like, what the traffic conditions look like, if I've got alternate routes if I need them. I already have my campgrounds booked, including my campgrounds on the way to my destination if I'm going to split that trip up. Something else important to think about and consider so you're not driving for long extended times especially as we get into the summer season, 
just stopping at a random campground along your route is sometimes difficult. Uh, uh, for instance, we were coming back, we wanted to split our drive up, and we had a reservation at a campground outside of Nashville, and I kind of wanted to drive a little bit longer and go on the other side of Nashville before we stopped, but all three of those campgrounds were fully booked, so we had to stay on the south side of Nashville. Um, knowing that for next year, I will book that place on the other side of Nashville. So plan ahead. It makes everyone's trip more enjoyable. It can save you time and it can save you money. Okay, everyone, my last tip, tip six, is be adventurous and have fun. Um, it's all, you know, the journey is just as important as the destination sometimes, especially when you got your house behind you. I've boondocked in uh, Walmart parking lots. I have boondocked in the back of Pilots gas stations before. We've taken uh, campgrounds that we've never been to. We've explored those. You know, again, going back to the previous tips with planning and stuff, but you know, add a little variety and some adventure in there. It's all about the adventure. Stay safe, be responsible, and really enjoy it because it's all about relaxing, chilling, and unwinding. Guys, as always, thank you for watching this week's Tip Tuesday. If you have any suggestions on future Tip Tuesdays, leave a comment down below. We absolutely love it, and I can grab an expert to help with just about everything. So until then, see you guys next Tuesday.